All right, guys. Well, the first mod for the Yukon officially just showed up on an 18-wheeler. Kind of got a little cluster going on down here, but we got it. It's not damaged. We're good to go. Welcome back to the channel. Super excited for today's install because this was one of my favorite modifications that I did to my 21 F-150 and a ton of y'all love it as well. Unfortunately for me and anyone else that has an OBS truck, it's a relatively inexpensive mod for the size of the item and how big of a difference it's going to make on the truck. So I knew I had to go ahead and pick one up. I'm sure I already gave it away by the title and thumbnail. So we're going to go ahead, pop the lid off, show y'all what I got. A two inch cow hood. I know y'all can't fully see it right now, but I'll show it to you here in just a second. It is a steel matte black finished cow hood, and it's gonna be a super big upgrade over that factory hood. It's gonna be really, really aggressive. Um, we might leave it black or we might end up go ahead and color matching it. We'll just have to see how it plays with the whole blue and chrome and black scheme that we're gonna have going on. We officially have a special guest. Lauren is here. You have not been in a video in quite a while. Are you feeling camera show? No. Okay. Ow. Don't drop. It really hurts. <laughs> okay. Wait, can I can I rearrange my hands? Yeah. Okay. Sharp. <laughs> okay. Alright, let's don't. So Gonna, don't let it slip. Carefully. Hold on. Hold on. <clears throat> <laughs> it didn't hit it. Oh, yeah, sure. It did it. It hit the padded part, I swear. Uh huh. There we go. Alright. Good gravy. Let's get this hood off. Uh, are you painting that? I don't know. It might look good black. Oh, well. Why did you scratch it? No. All right. Open off. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. You're good. You're oh good. God. You're good. You're good. You're good. Can I put it down? Yes. Uh, it really awkwardly. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was a close one. <laughs> yes, it was. All right. Cool. Half inch as well. I have no clue how to take this off, but we're just going to try to wing it and get it to pop free. Does it turn? Yeah. Okay. Ah. <laughs> it does turn. That doesn't hold as good as the factory, that's for sure. Did that help any? Yes, it did. So I bent that a little bit, making it wider, and now it's fitting in there nice and snug. My hands right. are so slippery. You see the arms? We're not hitting the arms. We're going over the arms. Okay. I, I think you feel like I'm like six feet. No, because I'm not six feet. And this really hurts. Can I? Oh, yeah, you grab, you grab the soft edge. No. No, no, don't do it with your jacket. It's, that's a good way for it to slip. Oh. Don't hit. Oh. oh my god. Don't hit the windshield. Oh my god. You're stressing me out. <laughs> Just chill. your mind with the innovation that the 90s had general motors peaked so picture yourself you're talking to me yes <laughs> you're cruising down the interstate you have a blowout or you smell something burning uh -huh. you need to see right uh -huh. well you didn't have a phone back then with a flashlight on it right uh-huh you can carry a flashlight right general motors had you 
Shut up! A flashlight, yes. Shut up! That's runs, really cool. Runs the full length of the truck. You like the whole thing? Like the whole thing. It can go to the back. It go to the back of the truck. They had you. It has a little fishing pole. Well, a little fishing reel. Look at them. Your mind. Yeah. Well, here's your driving perspective. Just being a two inch, it does not hinder your visibility whatsoever. And check out all those little holes. That looks so daggum sick. Running about 55 right now. The hood's not shaking, wiggling, anything. Just like the factory hood. So with that said, let's jump straight to the reveal. She is definitely comment down below. Let me know what you think about the two inch cow hood on the old 96 Yukon. I think it works perfectly. It's super aggressive and it really does change the whole character of the truck. I think it is perfect. And being a two inch, like I said earlier, it doesn't hinder your visibility at all, but yet it looks awesome while you're driving it. And those little like, heat extractors are super cool looking as well. Me and Lauren played with it a little bit more last night off camera, trying to get it to line up perfectly and uh, probably could do a little more finagling and get it spot on, but it's pretty daggum close. This side looks really, really good. The other side's a little bit high. Once we got it shifted over, this side's a tiny bit high, which there might be a little bump stops. I didn't even look. Um, it's a tiny bit high, but honestly on this thing, it's not really noticeable. It looks great and I ain't mad about it at all. So for, like I said, 300 bucks, which I know is not dirt cheap, but also that's a big freaking hood. That's a big change in appearance and attitude. Can't really complain with that. So uh, I know adding color to it will increase it by a couple hundred bucks. I think we probably will, but y'all let me know. Do you think we should leave it black? Honestly, with the blue, it kind of blends in together because this is such a dark blue, but it'd probably look a little bit more crispy if we had uh, it actually painted to match. But for a finish, that comes on the hood you could totally just rock this especially if you had like a white truck or something i think it would look super good or red where it actually would pop i think it'd look really good just leaving it black but um yeah i'm stoked with it <laughs> i think this thing looks and sits amazing i could totally daily drive this thing right rest of my life and just be happy about it is it's so good but i'm not gonna ramble on too much more we'll just get a couple more angles from the side and whatnot but man, I'm almost sad to change the truck because we're finally starting to get some mods rolling in. I ordered them, I guess, you know, not the greatest time because Christmas, so shipping is all kind of crazy right now, but we're starting to get some in. And the next, we might have one more vlog, one more vlog to vlog with it sitting how it is currently. And then uh, suspension is getting changed, which I'm a little bit sad about because it looks so freaking killer as is stuffed on the 35s, but also, it's gonna look freaking sick with, uh, with uh, maybe a lift kit on it. Maybe, maybe just might be putting a lift kit on it. <laughs> Anyways, definitely comment down below. Let me know. I'll have a link to it in the description if you'd like to pick one up yourself or just check it out or whatever. And with that said, I'll see y'all in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.